Hey people, uh, we're back. It's day three of Vlogmas and today's video is going to be a little bit different. Um, I mentioned yesterday, I, are we concerned about the candle? Am I going to light myself on fire? I wanted it to be like this like really like cute thing, but I feel like it's just a hazard for me. <sighs> I'm too clumsy. I can't do it. This week's episode was not bad. I feel like it was bo more boring than last week. Like, I feel like last week's episode was really crazy. Or maybe the, was it the week before? First and foremost, we just need to acknowledge the greatness of Taisha And the fact that she came in, she saved, she saved the day when she came in from this season. And I'm just very, very, very happy that she's with us for the Bachelorette season. Um, so I really love Taisha. I loved her on Colton season. I loved her on Bachelor in Paradise. Secretly wish that her and Derek would have ended up together. They didn't, so here we are. The sequence of this week's episode really bothered me. I hate not having a rose ceremony. <laughs> rose ceremony. I hate not having a rose ceremony. It really bothers me. Um, so we had two one-on-one -on -one dates, a group date, and then that like super awkward two-on-one -on -one thing with Bennett and Noah at the end. First one-on-one -on -one was with Zach. Now, I have mixed feelings about Zach because I feel like sometimes he's very sweet. I like that he's older. I like that he's mature. But then sometimes I just get really creepy dad vibes. Like, just like kind of like creepy and smiley but I was watching it last night and Marshall was watching it with me and he really likes Zach he said that he thinks he could be from Canada like just a just a friendly guy so I do appreciate him and especially after this episode when he opened up about some of his past experiences and stuff with dealing with addiction and his brain tumor I I appreciated him more as a character and that's just a general theme that I've been noticing since Taisha took over is like she's having real life conversations with the guys, which I really appreciate. And I've been watching The Bachelor and Bachelorette shows for a long time. And it's normally just trash TV, which is why I watch it because I can just turn my brain off and enjoy something for an hour and a half. It's just apparent to me that we've got a good set of guys on this season. Zach's one-on-one. -on -one. The date itself bothered me because I don't understand why they took the photo shoot so seriously. I feel like they've done similar dates in past seasons and nobody ever takes it that seriously. Now that I know they've both been married before, I maybe understand, but I feel like even so, like it's a photo shoot, like you're literally dressing up in a costume and I just feel like they both made it like such a big deal. So that was a little weird. Tasha's evening outfit that she wore to that date like the dinner portion of the date was just something else. Um, and I got severe anxiety when they turned the Ferris wheel on. Is that what it's called? Ferris wheel? Yeah, the Ferris wheel. It gave me extreme anxiety when the Ferris wheel and they just had them like stopped at the top when they were like doing their little kissy moment thing at the end. Zach gets a rose and we move on to the second date of the episode, which was a group date. We had Spencer, Ivan, Ed, Blake, Brennan, Riley, Damar, and Bennett on this group date. And they went to like an art class where they had to express themselves. I just want to say that Spencer overall has really disappointed me. I feel like he came in with that second group of guys on Tasha's like premiere episode. And I was like, oh, Spencer, someone to look out for. Kate, now that I'm thinking about this, did Spencer get the first impression rose? Who got the first impression rose? I'm gonna need to Google that later. Um, but he's kind of been quiet and just like really not memorable, which is interesting. Then we had a one-on-one -on -one with Easy, which rest in peace, Easy. He's gone now. He's no longer with us in the episode. Um, and you know what? I think Easy was the type of guy that was like a really like like a friend vibe for Tasha, and I think that's probably why she gave him the one-on-one -on -one, because she needed to figure out if there was chemistry or not. Um, while they were on the one-on-one, -on -one, Marshall was like, yeah, this this is my guy, like, he's gonna go far. And I was like, no, like, they're totally, they're playing it up so that he was gonna get cast off because they kept going back to the guys at home and the guys were like, yeah, like, Easy's got such a natural connection. And, like, then Easy opened up and said he was falling in love with her. And so I just feel like they were just, like, they set that up that he was not gonna get very far. And he went home. And then we had at the end of the episode. And I can't remember if this happened on the group date or, no, 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 she came in and talked to him about um, Ben and Noah. So Jojo came in and was just like, Ben, Noah, Bennett, Noah, um, 
you know, Tasha can't keep both of you here, so she's gonna have to send one of you home. Yeah, then they had that weird little two-on-one moment at the end of the episode, and it was awkward. Like, Bennett did that weird gift thing, which was totally a producer move. They're like, you should probably just get him like a gift, but like make it really sarcastic. It was a producer thing. So then they ended the entire freaking episode by saying, with like Tasha looking at the box and being like, what's in that box? And that's probably exactly how it sounded. The reason I hate when there's no bro ceremony is I feel like we just don't progress in the season. Like, I feel like we're on week, like I don't even know what week this episode was. And I feel like we have, I think Matt James's season is starting in the new year. So I just feel like we haven't made enough progress yet with, um, like with Tasha's season. I know obviously Claire was the first two or three weeks. And so then by the time Tasha came on, like we're already a little bit behind. Um, but there's gonna have to be an episode up here somewhere where Tasha's cutting like a bunch of guys. So we have left Bennett, Ben, Blake, Brendan, Damar, Easy, Ed, Ivan, Noah, Riley, Spencer, and Zach. So we've got 12 guys left. <sighs> ben is a good looking guy. He's got a good story. They've got really good chemistry but I don't think that she's gonna pick him. I picture Ben being like a Colton, kind of. Like, good looking guy, soft heart, but like, I just don't think that he's gonna be the final guy. Maybe in the top two or three. Um, Bennett needs to leave. I'm really hoping that after the, like this two in one situation, I hope that Bennett leaves and Noah stays just because Noah's like, I don't know, I feel like he is more up Tasha's alley than Bennett is. Like, is she really gonna pick Bennett? No. Um, Blake, he's a Canadian guy. I hope she would keep him around. I think that if he would have gotten more of a chance to get to know her right at the beginning, I think they maybe could have progressed a little bit more, but like, I don't think he has a chance now. Um, Brennan has my heart. He looks like Max Kerman from Markel's and he's kind of perfect. Um, but I don't know. I feel like he's probably going to be in the final, like final two for sure. Cause I just think they've got like, they had that really early on one-on-one -on -one, um, and he's just got like a good, he's he's got a good chance. Uh, Damar is probably not gonna stick around for very much longer. Oh, I included Easy, but he's gone. So never mind. It's just, there's 11 people left. Um, Ed needs to go. He had his time to shine like really early on when he had that drama with, um, who was the drama with? Oh, Chasen but that's over so he can leave. Um, I really like Ivan and their one-on-one -on -one last week was really perfect. I think he's like a really good fit for Tasha, but I also think that he's probably like the nice guy and he'll probably be gone. Like he'll make it to like the top three or four, um, but he's like too good of a choice. You know what I mean? Like he's, it's like the Peter and who did Hannah B end up picking? I even forget his name now. Noah won't stick around for the whole time, but I really like him. Riley, the attorney guy, he's super serious. I've only seen like a little bit of a different side from him when he's had one-on-one -on -one time with Tasha, but I wouldn't say he's gonna make it to the end. And it seems like from the preview for next week's episode, he is does something weird or Tasha finds something out about him. So that'll be interesting to see. Spencer, again, very disappointed that he hasn't um, come out of his shell a little bit more. I think that he could have had a chance and I'm really feeling like he was the one that got the first impression rose, but I could be wrong. Um, and then Zach, creepy daddy Zach. Um, I like, I go back and forth with him. Sometimes I'm just like, Zach's going to win it all. Cause he's like mature. He's got his ducks in a row. He knows what he wants. He's like wise and all those things. And then I'm just like, no, you're creepy. I don't want you to be here anymore. So that's my bachelorette recap. I wanted to keep this video short. Um, I love The Bachelorette. It is a horrible show to watch. It makes no sense whatsoever that I enjoy watching it, but I do and nobody can stop me. So anyways, that's it for today's video. I need to go edit this and upload it so that I can just chill out for the rest of the night. Um, I hope you enjoyed and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.